Sanchez lining up. And he's battling, it's going to be a late takeoff. Probably slap him on the shoulders. See that wave spit out right behind him as he took off. Long wall down the line. Richo's got a longer board. He's going to race it. See whether he'll take the, take the punt. He's gambling. He's got a long inside wall. That's three brilliant waves for Richo. He's going to take off. This is a fantastic wave. Huge wall offshore wind ripping up the face and the 6 four board dying at the bottom. There's no way you can ride a small board in large waves, as Rabbit's proven. Terry Richardson takes off. Enormous wave. This would be the biggest wave ridden at Bells Beach for a long time. Enormous wave. Another 12-foot wave outside. Poss possibly bigger. Up and riding. And Rabbit up and riding. Both surfers riding. Rabbit pulls out. The ref's the rule. If in doubt, pull out. I think Rabbit obeyed the rule. Left Richardson up and riding. An impressive performance by Terry Richardson. Full wave in the dying minutes. Around two and a half minutes to go and Rabbit pulled a good wave. One of the most competitive surfers in the world always fights back. He's an excellent wave and he pulls out. And no, he didn't take off. Would have been a beautiful late take off. Just under 30 seconds. 20 seconds. Counting down. Double wave, white water all over. It's horrible. It's Mark Price. Look at the chop and the bump. Flicking out. Not a good wave. 15 foot wave, a long wall. I'd say he's in bad trouble. There it is, a heavy wipeout, a long hold down, and possibly the fear of a swim to the beach if his leg rope busts. All in front of him, he's just going to keep carving it. He could be in trouble. He might go for this one. Well, flick out. That's a good, sensible move because the shore break is killer. It's peeling down the line very quickly. Mark Price riding a six foot six board, pulling it off the bottom if he can. No, he's just going to be a little bit more secure and just try and weave down the line rather than carve hard turns. Now he's a bit of performance on the shoulder. It's in red, paddling for this wave, standing up and taking off. Beautiful 10-foot wave at Bill's Beach. Starting to wind up, get some good manoeuvres going down the line. Richard Cram's looking at this one. Going wave to wave. Richard Cram taking off in white. Bondi surfer. Up and coming hot surfer. Powerful, big, strong guy. A lot of performance and manoeuvres. Notice how bumpy the waves get when you're in the white water. Richard's taking a chance here going into the inside section. And he's over. Oh! Looks a bit more like common sense than the wind blowing up the face in front of him. That's a small set. And look at the size of the thing, it's about 10 foot. Um, it'd be so choppy on that wave it's a good ride for mark price that gives him about three or four good average rides like a bit worried round the shoulder he's made it it's cram from new south wales a brilliant wave late takeoff big wall hard off the bottom fantastic clean face on that wave it's a bigger surfer, strong, and it really helps to be a, a larger guy in big waves. Look at that white water, knock him back, he's back on his feet. Fantastic. And he's going to get out of that wave and hopefully not get caught inside with Simon. And with six seconds to go, Richard Cram is a takeoff in white, riding the last wave of the heat. That's the end of the heat.
Mark Grice and Red, would you please come in straight away? Richard Cram and White from New South Wales, riding the last wave of the heat, doing an excellent job. Richard Cram just finishing off that ride with a re-entry over the fall. Take off here, Simon Anderson in red. Simon Anderson riding his thruster design, three fins. And the scores have indeed been very high. And Bobby Owens in white from Hawaii is up and riding. Great big huge wave. Up into the hook and makes it. And behind him we've probably got Simon Anderson sizing this wave up. He's going for a late takeoff. Look at this folks, look at this. No, he's decided not he is standing up. Under the tube. On a six foot, six foot also. That's two inches bigger than he is. From Hawaii. Fantastic wave. Finn just dropping out him on the takeoff. He's lying down, I think. Just. Huge wave. He's going to pull round it. Up into the pocket. What a wave. I'm sure this could be a high scoring way for Simon, carving off the top. That's his 6-6 six, six board. He's going right through to Winky Pop. No, he's not. He learned his lesson there earlier. From Hawaii. The result of heat four this morning was between, the event was between in red Terry Richardson and white Wayne Rabbit Bartholomew and Terry Richardson having a fantastic ride on one of his final rides. Simon Anderson's up folks, in the red, way inside, up into the tube maybe. That's a great wave. As we said earlier, Simon's a six foot four fellow. And that's way over his head even in there. <laughs> the top, trying to pick up a bit of speed for the section in front. It's a three course meal at this presentation dinner. And you'll be able to find out up and away on a huge wave. He's got to try to pull into the tube. Getting a good wave, but most of the surfers having some difficulty. I feel like they're a little bit undergun. Surfboard size. The big black shadow is not a killer whale. I think it's... Oh, he's destroying it. No. The Channel 10 doctor's reflection. Simon Anderson from Narrabeen. He's up and riding. Won the championship here in 1977, the last time it had good size. One of the world's strongest and most respected surfers. He looks, oh, he looked like he's playing that way, with that wave to me. Bobby Arms is from Hawaii, he's a classic surfer. And he pulled pretty much into the barrel there. Carrying on, looks like he's building up a, a very good wave. And I would have said Simon had a lead. I haven't been judging, but Simon would have had a lead. But this wave makes things very even. Would be an interesting result here. I'll be glad it's safe. Pulling. Slipped into the tube there for a while. He's up there in the pocket once again. Looks to be a terrific ride. The opponent of Bobby Arms had a look at that one at the takeoff. Very impressive performance here by the 77 champion, Simon Anderson. Interesting to note that although the contest has been running for 
nine years. As he guns it to the shore break, he thinks he's had enough with two minutes to go. It could be a good strategy. He'll return to the shore. Here, I believe it's from this heat. It is. It's Mick Carroll pulling up. Quite aggressive manoeuvre there. Good wave. Mick's showing his stuff quite well here on the first wave. Sometimes important is man on man to get the first wave. Bobby's getting a great ride and will return to the beach. This wave doesn't count. Normally when it's smaller, we start from the beach to avoid confusion, but in this big stuff, give them every chance to uh, get out and get back in. And heat eight, which is the final heat in round two, is between in the white, Dane Kealoa from Hawaii. Dane rated number two in the world, has a big gun. He's just jumping into the surf. So Dane's away, 47 minutes early, giving himself plenty of time to get out there. It's Gabe Callahan. Here he goes. Young Gable Callahan. Never been heard of before, and he's up here and going for the big time. And it's not a bad wave there for Gabe. Just up and riding, giving a bit of cheek. Looks to be in good position. Tries to pull up into the hook once again. Unbelievable set coming outside. Eight or ten waves in the set. Gabe Callahan, previously unknown surfer, is out there doing quite well on these rides. Lots more terrific surfing today. Right now we've got Gabe Callahan in red against Nick Carroll in white. Beautiful set, they're manoeuvring into position. He is up and riding in the red, Gabe Callahan. Central Coast in New South Wales. Guy pulls us out the curl stroking, up and riding in the white, Nick Carroll from New South Wales. Former Aussie champion. Up and having a go. Still riding this wave, slashing it quite effectively for such a big wave. Pulls out safely. Huge set for a looking small one. Well, there's Gabe up on a small one. It's probably only about 10 feet. Riding very well. He's got a huge section ahead of him. Look at this. Works his way through the big section. Yes, the flows are... Of course, 
because we now have our star common coming a go. No, he did, couldn't get into it. There's so much updraft on those big waves. Peter jumped off in the lull before the storm. We suggest you come in, Pete. Have a look at this. It's a real Bells Week smoker. I think it's Nick having a go. Nick couldn't get in. Gabe, no, Gabe was not able to get into that one. Big shot. Panic stations. Extremely. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh. Up and running, Nico. Woo. Up and running, Nico. Unfortunately, a for the of Dane's up. Derek up from the inside. A few large sets approaching too on the uh, out of back area. Very <laughs> kind on the inside. Oh. Nilly's not good enough when you're talking to. format in the Quicksilver Trials, four-man semi-final of ten waves to be ridden and the three best waves by each contestant on five separate judges sheets counts in the result. Ian Cairns and Mark Price have both jumped off the rocks in what looks to be an ideal situation. Derek's away and powering. Second time lucky, unlucky. Who's that? Derek's up and riding. He hasn't got a t-shirt because the last wave ripped it off him. What a beautiful, beautiful ride it is. That's, that's good proof of the fact that you can beat them from inside the bowl section. Because the actual um, reef here at Bells Beach is, uh, has a bowl section right where you saw Derek run, a, run through the bowl section by going up high into the barrel and the takeoff was right on the end of Rincon Point, which is to our right as we're sitting here on the top of the hill. Dane's away, up and riding. This is Dane's second wave. And a beautiful one right from the bowl, or just inside the bowl actually. Wow. 
Wise decision. Lines that are approaching. The seagull, when the seagulls all take off. In red, which is black. Careful positioning around the, from the bowl and then up into the curl and then following the line along. The wave hasn't got a particularly critical wall, but um, that's characteristic of Bells Beach anyhow, really. It, unless you take, in, take off on the... Uh, see, I'll hang five on the shoulder trick. <laughs> Guaranteed to raise a few points. Nice surfing inside the curl. Stain's third wave. Okay, we're away in round one of the Quicksilver semis. Ian Cairns is up and away. No mucking round. And a beautiful wave. You see the Kanga took off a little bit further than the bowl that time. That's a good yellow Carter. Taking off on a beautiful wave. However, not getting quite enough speed off the bottom to get back into the curl, but still it was a very large wave and it broke quite wide. Mark Price has done it too. Snuck that one in on us. Mark Price from South Africa, uh, Sherlock sure here. Bowls coming, and in white on this wave, on the inside. Yeah, and also from Lawn, uh, Victorian junior champion Warren Powell there. The way over there on the far inside, which was a bad move for that particular set. There's another surfer taking off. We can't identify him because he's smothered in white water right now. Oh, here it is. There's Ian Cairns up and riding on a beautiful, beautiful wave, one of the smaller ones, but he's carving it up. Once again, the contestants in the expression session. They're not really contestants, those are the participants. Here in the red, fantastic wave. Mark Price from South Africa. Couldn't quite draw enough speed, but he does get around the bottom of the white water. A very big set. Not quite as big as the last one. Mark Price working on the shoulder. Now this is a way in up and riding. This is Warren Powell. Warren Powell is a local. He's from Lawn. He's riding a big board. Only 17 years of age. Just got covered up with a lot of white water. The up and comers overtook the favourites. It's a great wave. It's Ian Cairns from Western Australia. Huge wave. He seems to have the wave measure. He's trying to come around the bottom, unable to do so. Here's the bloke in red. This is Mark Price from South Africa. He's up and boogieing. So you notice Ian Cairns has been giving a great performance in this event. Ian Cairns is up out the back. For that last hour of the day, this expression session, we'll have commentators and judging to the bus. That's Warren Powell. Warren Powell, he's from Lauren. He's riding a seven-foot surfboard that was shaped in 1977 by Barry Kanai Putty. At the back. Down out, done. Good, be good. About to get Bells Comes of Age next year. 21 years old. For those of you who may just arrive, We'll just give you some of the results from the round two in the first heat this morning. There goes the chopper. Look, there's a cuddly couple dangling from the umbilical cord. This is good to know Peter Crawford in a short while. 
could be a spin out, yes. Or is it the evening foxtrot? I'm not quite sure. It's Ian Cairns. Ian once again picking up another nice wave. It's about his fifth or sixth wave so far this heat. Seems to be getting quite a few of them. It shows that Ian has a considerable amount of not only big wave knowledge, but incredible knowledge here at Bells Beach. All week long, Ian's been surfing very well, making a bit of a comeback in the another surfer paddling up and riding, Mark Price. This is Mark's fifth wave. He and Ian have been dominating this heat as far as wave picking up is concerned. They've had more waves than all the other two competitors. Again, he's outside, up and riding. Ian's just carving it. He's been sitting inside here talking all day, drooling over these exceptionally big and beautiful waves here at Bell's. He's finally had a chance to get out there and release some of his uh, inner frustrations of having to stay on the beach. Big it's color. a good Now John at the bar is a friend of mine. He gets me my drinks for free. And he's quick with a joke or to light up your smoke. But there's some... Uh, I wouldn't mind hearing a round of applause to the... Uh, Helicopter pilot. Okay, surfer up and riding. I believe that's Warren Powell. Okay, surfers, five minutes remaining, five minutes left in the six. Try Finn, see if he can thrust out of it. No, he can't. He decided to get out of that one paddling. It's probably Ian Cans again, it is. Ian's up and riding. Look at this one. No, he just gets out. Even though Bell's Beach is a reef break, you might notice that when the wave starts to stand, I'm not sure. I think that's, yes, it's Ian again. This wave doesn't count. This is from the last heat. Another nice wave building up outside. Beautiful looking wave. Somebody's paddling for Barton Lynch. Looks like a straight off eight off. This is Bobby Owens. Nice wave there by Bobby. He did take off on the end of the wave of the bull section, but because the waves are so big and long today, look outside, up and riding. I think this is Dave Hansen. Yes, it is. It's another South African, Dave Hansen. I believe he's riding another Philburn Twin Fum. Check the outside wave, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Bells Beach boomer for sure. We have... Hot takeoff there by Bobby. Oh. Or as he's known in Hawaii as Little Bobby. Oh. God, he's carving this one. Look, he's going. He's actually interesting tactical maneuver there by Bobby. This is again taking off in the end of the ball. His strategy is working. Great late takeoff. This would have to be Bobby Owens' lead at the moment. Bobby's had three great waves from the bowl section. Let's see if he's predictable by raising his arms as he pulls out. Nope. It looks like red. It's Dave Hansen from South Africa. He's at the top and he's eating it. That's got to be a heavy contender for the Terry Fitzgerald. Oh, and he missed that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've just been informed by our judges that that wave there of Dave Hansen.
into this heat for 19 minutes. 19 minutes into a couple surfers paddling. Not able to get into that wave. Orange surfboard. It's one of his relics from Hawaii that's been up in the rafters. It's flawless. A couple surfers paddling. Are there any creatures more pathetic? That's Dave Hansen riding. Up and riding is Martin Lynch. <laughs> Little cover up there, backside. A radical cut there. Thank you. Young Marcus. Warren Hot to Trot. Just loves having his picture taken. Joey Baran. Joey Varan, out there off Brinkon, Joey, the guys in the water for the next event. The guys in the water, or the guy, there's a takeoff out the back, it's red. Dave Hansen from South Africa, the man that took that pretty horrific wipe out before. Bobby Owens up and riding. Marcus is up again. Oh boy. Probably on. remaining in this event. Four minutes remaining. Surfers in the water. Looks like Bobby Arns in the yellow is elected to return to the shore. What a very nice ride. One go. It's the Lynch brothers on this wave. Martin from New South Wales and his cousin from Victoria a little bit confused. What? Barton, wave if you can hear. Barton Lynch in blue, can you hear the PA system? 
Barton, you will be given an opportunity any surfer in either of these events to take off or interfere with Barton Lynch. He has only five minutes, and we want to give him every opportunity of catching another wave in that time. That'll teach you, Rodney. Judges could have a look at this one. from Rincon, and as we predicted, the legends are trying it from the inside. Up and riding, it's not a legend, top Hawaiian IPS surfer, Michael Ho. He's riding along aboard this time. Look at the tube ride, unbelievable. Unbelievable, outside, looks like Nat Young. We're not sure who it is just yet. Who's the surfer outside, folks? Taking off and away now, Mark Warren. Mark was in Quicksilver semi-final two, and he's in the Veterans Expression session. Look at that. No pressure, he just cuts loose. Here we go, someone's up and riding. We'll try and get a make on who it is. They say it could be Midget Farrelly, we're not sure. It is Midget Farrelly. We recognize that move anywhere. It's just he hadn't done it before we could recognize it. Actually, personally, I had a little bet with Summer. So out here right now, we have some of the top IPS pros who are unfortunate enough to be eliminated from the contest. Mainly it was because they used boards that were too small. And here's Michael on a long board looking terrific. We also have some of the true living legends of Australian surfing. I know Midget Farrelly's out there, Wayne Lynch, Nat Young, Michael finishing a great ride, and a few of our other more senior competitors like Paul Nielsen. He's someone way on the inside. Haven't recognised who he is yet. We'll get a make on it for you. I think it's Terry Fitzgerald. I'm not sure. Someone way, way on Rincon. Sean Thompson. Further over than you've ever seen. Another surfer on the inside. Could be Nat. Didn't make it. But Mungle in front. I don't know who's behind. The surfer behind pulls out. It's Greg Mungle. He's uh, from USA. Now lives in California. Originally from the East Coast. Great. Some of the experts say the swell's still coming up. And the tide's now low, the waves feel it from way further inside. And of course the surfers have moved. Someone up and riding, I'm pretty sure this is Fitzgerald. This is Terry Fitzgerald, without a doubt. With Matt. The lunatic take off in the middle, Rod Brooks. I don't know who's on the outside of him. He might get there. Buzzy Kerbock. Burton Dean Kerbock. Unbelievable set outside. This is Terry Fitzgerald. You can tell the solar arch anywhere. They're pushing it to the max. They're trying to make it from miles inside. Maybe Terry will make it. He's tweaked his back and he's come through. Look at this section. Will he do it again? Fantastic ride by Terry Fitzgerald. Has been known as the world's fastest surfer. This up and riding. Can't recognize him just yet. It's a long way out. Midget Farrelly. Midget Farrelly up and streaking from Rincon. In a beautiful section. Been making these ways with ease. No trouble at all. Huge set. Some of the surfers dive to the bottom. Midget had a look over the back. 
wants to make sure he's safe. Pulls out with a little bit of room to spare. Not a race. Looks like Buzzy Kerbox to me. This Buzzy Kerbox from away is the 2SM Coca-Cola champion getting a barrel there. Won the surf about last year. He's trying to come back and retain the championship this year. For taking off, this one is Mark Warren. Still got his white singlet on. Beautiful set. Here we go. Up and riding here. Paul Nelson was on the huge wave outside. This one's Terry Fitzgerald. Drawing lots of speed and power in those turns. I think the mystery man out there is John Law from Quicksilver. This is Sean Thompson from South Africa. Goes into the barrel. He's famous for his tube rides. He's coming out. He made that tube ride for an incredible distance. An incredible... Greg Mungle, got some half whip on the road with him. We've got the white secret on from the last seat. Now giving an uninhibited performance. No contest pressure on him, on him in this special session. John Lowe in the back and Sean Thompson in the front. No, excuse me, Buzzy Turbo. Four more, four more surf about winner. Taking off, Fitzgerald, Terry Fitzgerald. And he makes it. Solid eight footer. Taking off, Tommy Carroll. Mark Warren up there surfing. Surfer of long standing in Australia. Comes from Narrabeen. Looks like Sean Thompson, he's weaving. You've got to get recognizing. Rosie in the back. Ian Cairns on the outside, I think it was. Ian just gave his big performance in the first semi final of the Quicksilver Trial. are coming thick and fast. Wayne Lynch, on, Wayne Lynch on the inside. On the outside, we're not sure. Ian Cairns. A couple of old, uh, well, we could say, troopers, contestants anyway there. Wayne's coming in. Ian's regained the shoulder. That's Ian, and we saw a win. Only final one. We'll try and recognize who's this, I know. Looks like Terry Fitzgerald in the slot. Someone else behind didn't have so much luck. Terry's into the big section. Outside once again. Someone's up and away. 
Sean went for an unbelievable tube before. Twin fun. Unbelievable tube, man. Come on, get this in the lanes. It's Terry Fitzgerald. It wasn't Terry Fitzgerald riding the other way. Terry Fitzgerald, I'm sure he wins the award for the biggest wife. Tommy couldn't possibly wait for six minutes. Mongol. Tom pulls out and gives Greg Mongol the, the wife. Going for the 150 revolutions tonight. Torquay laundromat. What a record. He'll be a legend after that.